Healthy Martini Studios in Ontario, California, it's The Fibber Show! Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Josie. I'm Jeff. With the Boo. And for listening to the Boom Bar Show. Make sure you hit the subscribe and remember to rate, review, and tell your friends like a champ. You can always eat this after the Bar Show. That's FTheBelowBarShow.com. And FTheBelowBarShow is our handle on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. Check us out. Drop us a line and we'll foo it up like a couple of foos. Ain't that right, foos? See, foo. Yeah. Well, foos, on tap today, just the normal shit. But uh, I wanted to get started with uh, talking about Joe Rogan. Have you guys heard? About the deal that he struck today, the motherfucker struck gold. Do you know any details regarding that? A no. deal, foo? Yeah, like the green, like the Green New Deal. <sighs> no, <laughs> not, actually, nothing <laughs> like it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Joe Rogan's podcast is becoming a Spotify exclusive. Normally, you can find him pretty much anywhere. You can find him on the Apple Podcast. If you go on Stitcher, if he, I think if you even just go on his website, you can stream it from there. But now he has struck a deal with Spotify where even his video component that can also currently be found on YouTube um, is moving to Spotify as well. And the only reason to use YouTube is just to maybe post clips um, regarding his, uh, you know, like his, his show, like the highlights of the show and shit like that. Um, but this is all starting on September 1st and, um, and I don't know, man, I, I, I wanted to just play what he said, um, because this is, I get where he's coming from and I'll explain after the, the clip here. Hello everybody. I have an announcement. The podcast is moving to Spotify. I signed a multi-year licensing agreement with Spotify that will start on September 1st, starting on September 1st, the entire JRE library will be available on Spotify as well as all the other platforms. Then somewhere around the end of the year, it will become exclusive to Spotify, including the video version of the podcast. It will be the exact same show. I am not going to be an employee of Spotify. We're going to be working with the same crew doing the exact same show. The only difference will be it will now be available on the largest audio platform in the world. Nothing else will change. It will be free. It will be free to you. You just have to go to Spotify to get it. We're very excited to begin this new chapter of the JRE, and I hope you're there when we cross over. Thanks. So, yeah, that's what he had to say about it. And I don't blame him considering the millions of dollars that he's getting for it. Um, uh, what did we say, Steph? It was something like 10 million bucks, right? No, over a hundred million dollars. Oh, so I'm sorry, I was way off there. Wow, ten million dollars. I'm, I'm missing a zero there. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, yeah, uh, it was uh, yeah, well over a uh, hundred million dollars. And um, you know how like, and he would complain about this on his podcast pretty frequently, uh, where if you're if you're like on YouTube podcasting on YouTube and you try to put something up like a clip of something or some kind of sound bite, it automatically gets flagged for copyright infringement. And in our case, we see that quite a bit, Foos, uh, when we get the email from YouTube saying uh, <laughs> you, you use somebody else's shit. But uh, he he just plain, like, flat out doesn't do it on his show because he, did, he, want, he, he wants his show to go up on YouTube. So now that he's going to be on Spotify where he could potentially have at his fingertips all this music, assuming, um, for any podcaster wanting to you know, present to his listeners some good content, I can imagine that this is also a very big plus for him and a weight off his back if he ever wants to, like, just play a fucking song. So, uh, and on top of that, he's getting millions and millions of dollars to sign with them. So, uh, to me, this seems to be a no-brainer, uh, but I want to get your guys' perspective, seeing that you're in the podcast world as well. Well, Foo, for, for those that uh, have the luxury of making deals such as these, I say, <laughs> fucking, why the hell not? Um, you sold out, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to him, bro. He went big time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the J me, man. Yeah. JRE. Yeah, and uh, it's funny, while he recorded that, you could tell he was high as shit. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you could tell? Yeah, what's if it was a video? Oh, 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 yeah, it was on I YouTube, see. Foo. Yes, um, but uh, you know, it, it's uh, it's gonna be interesting. I don't subscribe to Spotify, I use the Apple Music. Uh, I don't know about you guys, uh, you guys use Apple Music as well, right? 
see yes i do i, I do not who uh to spotify yeah. who i think i think he's gonna lose quite a bit of listeners if i'm being honest or well yes i think naturally in the you know starting in september when he moves everything over he'll lose a significant amount well actually i don't even want to say significant amount just a good handful um and hopefully well, they come to the Fubar show. But well, well, what's a good yeah. handful when he has like two hundred million listeners? Yeah, it a lot. Yeah, even a little is a lot, in that perspective. But mm-hmm. I think that this is a lo- a huge loss for YouTube and a huge gain for Spotify because you can just imagine an entire fucking group of millions of people flocking over to you all at once just to go catch, uh, you know, a, a meathead bald guy. Uh, rants about whatever the fuck he's in front of at the time and smoke some weed. Foo, bring back Fear Factor. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you know, I wouldn't I hate mean, that. I really wouldn't hate that one bit. You're not wrong, Foo. Yeah. He was great in that. I, th- I, th- I thought he was a great host in Fear Factor. I thought he was good, and I was kind of surprised uh, down the line after he has done his podcast for some time. I was like, holy shit, I forgot that was the same guy. Like, yeah, Fear Factor was good. And then he does fucking UFC on the weekends, as long as it's local. I forgot. Uh, I forgot, forgot what they. Too. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, dude, uh, he's a UFC guy. Go fucking figure. He has range, foo. Maybe that's why he's getting a hundred million dollars, and you're in front of a a nice painting of a mountain with some kombucha, foo. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for making my. Are you point. gonna start selling health products out of your? Your car, foo. No, out of my window. Oh, okay, even better. <laughs> yeah, social distancing, Steph. Yeah. What the fuck? Can... Or are you going to have one of those, like, the sticks with a basket at the end of it? Here, just drop the money off in the basket, and I'll give you your stuff. I'm going to have one of those uh, machines, like in RoboCop, that guarded the <laughs> building. Just a huge three-ton fucking... <laughs> Kenny's costume? Yeah, Kenny's costume in what was like season three of South Park or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in Halloween, I'm gonna have one patrolling asking for <laughs> underpriced kombucha. Yeah, <laughs> with like overly like over the top machine guns on either side. You have ten seconds to leave the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh shit! Hi. The herbal life is <laughs> is going nuts. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Herbalife. Oh my God, is it Herbalife foo or what did you say? Sam, cam, what kombucha? Kombucha foo. Oh, sorry to hear that. Uh, so, <laughs> did you guys want to start geeking out, or do you have uh, no foo? I I don't. That? Okay. I want to know when Josh is going to release this vice grip on my ball. That's what I wanted to get started <laughs> with on the <laughs> geeking out, but we can start now. So, Josh, you uh, apparently have a hypothetical or literal, I really don't know, or care to know at this point, uh, that uh, you have his balls in a vice. Can you please help us elaborate that? And we covered that lightly in the previous episode, but why would the foo accuse you of such a thing? Josh just walked well, away. Be- well, because the he foo him. He just went off screen. Put me in the... some seasons of mine of DBZ. Mm-hmm. Josh here, led me. Here. Josh. Josh led me to a cellar, and said the world was ending, and I'll come back for you after the fallout settles. <laughs> yeah, whatever, butters. <laughs> so what? What seasons hey, did he destroy, Josh? Season one. Your background is not helping your point. What? Yeah, the green not screen's uh, covering what what you're showing us, but just uh, tell us what it is. I just said season one. So you're missing oh, you season one? So, uh, season one got damaged. Mm-hmm. And season six. In the great flood of the few? In the great that flood food of the few. The great ice the disaster of 2012. Flood? <laughs> the foo flood. Yeah, I think this is what the, uh, the Mayans were talking about this whole time. Dude, they were so <laughs> wrong about 2020 or 2012. 2012. Well, no, it 2020. was just your DVDs. That's all it was. <laughs> hey Josh, you're a hero. S- small price to pay for humanity, dude. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're only like twenty bucks. Oh, all right. So, uh, are you gonna buy them uh, the Blu-ray version or the regular DVD, or are you just gonna fuck with them and get them HD me, DVD, uh, VHS, yeah. HD DVD? <laughs> yeah, the loser of the Great War. Oh I'm man, gonna, I remember when this came out. I'm going to download a bunch of torrents and send them a link to send to all the torrents. 
<laughs> oh, no, like, here, you, here you go, man. We uh, we were able to uh, find a medium to this as well. Orange, I don't want to get no virus, man. Why you want to do that to me? What did I do to you? You're right. You're right. But uh, Fu, what should I do? Should I upgrade him? Should I downgrade him? I don't know. Are, I... you, are you paying him back with interest? <laughs> well, what season? Oh, should... if it's... <laughs> yeah, what, well, if it's interest, it's another season, and that's as nice as I'm going to be. Too. Oh, okay. So you're going to get him the original season, plus if you're a nice guy or feeling like it when you're purchasing it, you'll get him a different season. Is there a season you don't own yet, Josh? Oh, no, I have all nine. Excuse but, uh, me. Foo, if you want to. You know what, Foo? How about this? Instead, how about you get me a uh, super, and we'll call it even. What the fuck? You know how expensive that is? <laughs> how much is it? Dragon Ball Super, it's like 200 something dollars for the collection. Actually, actually, you know what? You know what? You know what? I think I actually saw it for cheaper. So if you want that to be that, I mean, that can be that. Found one that fell off a truck. (laughs) (laughs) Fell off a truck. Wipe your hands. Bruh. (laughs) For For real, though, man. For real, though. All right, so it's settled. Done. Right, when, Dragon when, Ball, Dragon Ball Super Fu Ultra Instinct. Now, Josh when Instinct. when uh, when he delivers said uh, DVDs to you, Josh, will you finally let go of his balls? Yes, Fu. I will. I will call off the hounds and uh, tell them to stop pulling the uh, the vice device that I have on his. I mean, looking for the Fu, they extend quite far. Uh, yeah, but. Yeah, but uh, you better hurry. They're swelling, dude. All right, they're swelling. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> there, there's no more regression once you start swelling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that's the God. worst bat wing I've ever seen. <laughs> Just like that movie, Waiting. The oh, goat. Gross. Yeah, the goat. <laughs> oh God, that movie was ridiculous. Anyway, speaking of shit that uh, only geeks would know, you guys want to start geeking out? Yes, sir. All right. Well, Foos, unfortunately, we have uh, a death in the DC universe, or the Arrowverse, I should say. Not a death, but uh, an exit, if I should um, actually correct myself. But Ruby Rose is leaving the fucking CW's Batwoman after, what, only having one season? Has it only been one season? Yeah. Yeah, it's only been one season. She's also been on the crossover events. That's why it feels like Isn't that where she premiered her character? Or yeah, that's tripping? where she. Okay. Start, that's where. That's where they introduced her in, in the crossover events. Yeah. Um, and then they led into all this, uh, all her, you know, her series and shit. And it, all so that, the, what, uh, what was her reason? It, that's that's what's so unsatisfying about everything that's out there regarding this story is that a lot a lot of the the articles that are out there, for example, the one I'm reading on Deadline.com, um, it, all it does is is just tell you all the fucking niceties about her exit of of how she you know this was not a decision I made lightly as I have the up, utmost respect for the cast and that kind of bullshit and um, and then the production the, the you know the the quote from them is something along the lines of you know where Sorry to see her go and bullshit like that, but it doesn't really tell you why she left. I mean, by all accounts, based on all the quotes that are on on this article, she was very happy to be there and thought that she, you know, was was actually portraying some a, a, a character with a good purpose and a good kind of uh, reference point for uh, for for the woke culture. But yeah, food. They're they're actually uh, keeping the reasons uh, under wraps. They're saying, yeah, huh? I wonder, so I wonder why. What, I don't know. Well, she. She did have a um, an incident on the, with a stunt mm-hmm. during the season where she uh, like was hospitalized oh. for uh, for a few so uh, maybe that for, fucked like, her up. a week. Yeah, she broke her back. Yeah, so I think it may be like that. Batman food. Yeah, but in real life, holy shit! Yeah. Wow, she's really devoted. <laughs> that's method food. That's method acting. That's, that's true method acting. <laughs> you don't know that level of deep method acting. No, you don't. Well, she did, though. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
Dang, Fu. Yeah, so, so what are they going to do with the series? Well, they're going to recast your character, if you can believe it. They're actually going to, you know, throw it back out there and just meet new people, see what happens. I don't... They're, they're going to go full steam with season two. Yeah. They have no... Really? Yeah, yeah dude. That, those, those people still have jobs. Um, so, and that might've been one of the reasons why she chose to leave as, you know, as long as it was guaranteed that, you know, nobody would fucking lose their job, especially in a time like this. Yeah, yeah. sure, dude. Sure. I'm just saying. I'm She's just saying. calling the shots, foo. Sure. I don't know, foo. I, I'd, <laughs> I'd like to think the best in people sometimes. I, that is good though, that they're still continuing the show though. Yeah. It kind of like they, obvi- they obviously have a product that people like and they are comfortable putting out so well and it's our link to uh you know possible batman um you know coming into play at some point whenever we get the whenever they get the rights to the to to show them on tv like that i mean i never thought that we would see superman but then supergirl segued him in so there we go yeah now we have superman and lois i like that the, uh... the poster to that where it said uh superman is coming in supergirl and um, and I couldn't have been happier to hear that. <laughs> Freezing. I'm sure, I'm sure you were. Food. I'm sure you were. <laughs> I was over the moon. <laughs> uh, um, what? What? In uh, I think in Batwoman right now they have Hush, like they introduced Hush into the Batwoman oh, universe. Just like yeah, that. isn't that like a big plot? Yeah, it's a huge <laughs> plot, but. It kind of works because in in Batwoman right now, like Bruce is missing, like they oh, don't know where convenient. he is. So, like if by having Hush, whoever they wanted to play Bruce, they could be revealed to be Hush, and then reveal Bruce next year. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Because I mean, kidding. dude, Bruce can't be missing for so long. I mean, come on, dude. Like if Bruce is Batman's missing, it's because he wants to be missing. Typically. Yeah. What if Batman found out he was um shit, I forgot his name already. What does he do? Thomas Elliot? What if what if he found out he's Ben Affleck and then he has to go in hiding because of the terrible job he's done? You didn't like the Ben Affleck bat? No. I had no beef with him. I had no beef with Ben Affleck, man. I had beef with his uh with his script. But uh Foo, that's all Zack Snyder, Foo. Yeah, I got well, a bone to pick with him. Well, apparently, I don't know if you guys know this, but Zack Snyder is hosting like a watch party for Man of Steel mm-hmm. on Zoom or something. Oh, such a, such a bitch. He should have done it for fucking Justice League. or. Well, I'm, I was getting to that. Uh, there's rumors <sighs> that he may be announcing that they may be finally releasing the Snyder Cut because a lot of people have been vocal about that shit. Like, Jason Momoa recently put yeah, put out the a characters. post. Huh? Even like the actual fucking like actors that do the characters are saying that. Yeah, yeah, they're all saying that. It's just Warner Brothers that just doesn't want to because they didn't want to. They didn't like Snyder's cut. They thought it was too dark. But so what, dude? Like it's I a mean, DC property. What the fuck did they think they were doing here? I think Warner Brothers it, at the time was too or is too worried about competing with marvel that they don't want to they don't want to take a risk right now i feel like it almost feels like they kind of want to you know go with more guaranteed stuff and then you know potentially take a risk by playing it by the book a book that they've been reading and going by for the last few decades if anything they had nothing to lose to compete to marvel and they could have been as creative as fuck they could have really done something good with the uh, uh, the multiverse, uh, the flashpoint. Like they could have gone in so many different directions, but all we can fucking remember from those atrocities is fucking Martha, and I can't fucking stand it. Other than that, I have no <laughs> thoughts about it. Well, that's because you're not an avid comic book reader. That must Whoa, be. Whoa, Steph's so. here, fool. Hey, oh, Steph. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Hey. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Sorry, I was reading upon some other geek news. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no Way podcasting within the podcast. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> We're podcasting together. That's meta. Who, you know, just uh, DC, they just want to shake some babies and kiss some hands, dude. That's all they want to do. 
Is that a thing people say? <laughs> it's fucking classic DC where they write themselves into a hole and then that's have to what reboot. I, yeah, that's the what I was kind of saying. But universe. then they always have like this big, you know, time altering event or you know, universe altering event. So that's I, why. I, that's how they get themselves gonna, out of the hole. There's no continuity yeah, with anything. It's coming, but yeah, they should just release the Snyder Cut and give us what we want. Because what the fucking else are we gonna do right now? Yeah, this what is do the you, best what time do you, to do it. What do you foos want? You want the Snyder Cut? Yeah, dude. I mean, I, I can't imagine it could be any worse than what we already have. I mean, dude, it's not like Stephen Wolf's not the villain anymore, dude. Yeah, I'm, I mean, uh, <laughs> there aren't well, any actually, serious plot points that are going to be, you know, like fundamentally shifted because they release a fucking Snyder Cut. It's just a longer Dark version Side of the actually movie. Supposed to have a, Dark Side is actually supposed to have a bigger role. In, I would uh, hope Snyder's so. Cut. Like, he, they actually show him and stuff he actually had a few scenes so i uh, thought the uh i thought the the bat nightmare was dark side just occupying superman's being no 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 oh. <laughs> no no the fuck was... you're on burgundy <laughs> <I'm> not... <laughs> God damn it. Who left the question mark on the teleprompter? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, moving on to the vertical side of DC Comics. Neil Gaiman, uh, the author of Sandman, is coming out with an audible project. And there's a giant cast attached to this audible project. If you love listening to podcasts, as you all should, because you listen to the Foo Bar Show. I'm listening to one right now. Oh, man. What? Yeah, this guy just asked me what. <laughs> Great podcasting, everybody. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, so the cast for the Sandman comic will include James McAvoy as Morpheus, which is the main character. Uh, Neil Gaiman himself is going to be the narrator, and other actors such as Andy Serkis and Michael Sheen. Uh, Kat Dennings also Ooh. will be in there. So there's a there's a whole cast attached to this uh, audio series. Mm -hmm. going to be on Audible, and that is actually coming out on the 15th of July on, Audu on Audible. So I, I want it now. No. And I want a haircut. There's over 68 <laughs> actors. And my nails done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's over 68 <laughs> actors playing. And... And you get a tan. What the fuck? Just go ahead. Sorry. Just what the it. fuck just is ignore, happening? He's practicing for a very special episode. Look, I'm it. trying to contribute. <laughs> and all you're doing is like talking over it. Whatever. All right. <laughs> for real, dude. Done. Yeah, stop being a dick, foo. Okay, okay. What do you guys have? Wait, Steph quit? Yeah, she quit. Yeah, quit. <laughs> she raged <laughs> she 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 quit. Shit all she's, over everything. She's taking her ball and going home. <laughs> she's like, I uh, can't best level seven. Ah! I'm sorry, Steph, F continue. Fusi, Fusi over here busted a Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> Boo, speaking of which, did you know last week was like the 12 year anniversary or something? Yeah, <laughs> no I rewatched the video. Shit. It was great. Leroy <laughs> Jenkins. Damn oh, shit. Leroy. Oh, oh, shit. He's going in there, guys. <laughs> Wait, do you go after him? Fuck, fuck. Okay, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, oh God, God damn it. They're like, oh, God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, Leroy. God damn it, Leroy. <laughs> Damn, 12 years? Yeah. Holy 12 shit. or 15, some shit like that. Crazy. When, when the kids were all into it, Steph. Anyway, Steph. What? <laughs> Nothing. Whoa. You should have seen him Whoa. right now. He girded his loins. She's... He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> She's furious. She's furious. He girded. Why'd right. you do such a thing, foo? That's what I do. You some kind of dick. <laughs> <laughs> No, Foo, I'm supposed to not be one, remember? Yeah, true. Hey, Foo, uh, did you, uh, hey, Steph, did you happen to watch any uh, American Idol recently? No. Why, why Why would you ask me that? I don't American know anybody Idol? who has. Have you done that show you're... still on? I mean, it's only season 18, guys. 18? What the fuck? Damn. 18? Know. Yeah. Do they do two seasons a year? What's happening? No, it's been around that long. 
Yeah, it sounds about right, actually. Holy shit. Yeah, it was around in high school for me. I remember it was yeah, a big deal, like the first two winners, and then after that, everyone's like, oh, who gives a Nobody shit? Nobody gave a fuck after that. Wasn't it like. <laughs> I was pissed I that Clay know. Aiken didn't win. I was like, that guy is much a better singer than Ruben Studdard. But I Yeah, digress. what the hell happened to Ruben Studdard? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Remember Justin Guarini? He has had oh, some... Oh, Ruben Stutter, dude. Yeah, wow. I don't know. I haven't heard that that cat in a while. But uh, Justin Guarini, the, 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 the first loser of American Idol. You know where, you know the last thing that, that, that he's done that's been quite notable? Little sweet. What? Yeah, those fucking Dr. Pepper commercials. Where he's little sweet. A little sweet. That's food. Justin Guarini? Yeah. yeah, that's Justin Guarini, dude. What? Talk about transformation. Yeah, I mean, he just needs a little makeup. Rewind. Transformation Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Yeah, go watch uh, from uh, Justin to what? What? What's her fucking face? Uh, Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> and then report back. No, I'm good. Mm-hmm. I don't want to okay. watch that. Don't make me and, do it, please. <laughs> anyways, Foos. So Steph, it's it's season eighteen of uh, American Idol. Okay, who and, uh, do you think I'm gonna like? Somebody? Is that why you're you're really pointing me out right now? I mean, you're the one out of all of us that watches the weirdest shit, so... That's true. You watch soap operas, bro, okay? Yeah, but I don't watch American <laughs> Idol, okay? I don't have time for that. That's not you, that kind of girl. But you guys uh, watch Tiger King. Get the fuck out of here. You get the what fuck out of here. What the Worldwide phenomena, fool. Non-conformer. Conform. Jesus yeah, Christ. Watch it. So much of a phenomenon that they're making several movies about this fucking film. Mm-hmm. Several. There's probably Why? already Why? a fan no. fiction out there Why? somewhere. Why? Why does this fucking film need... Uh... Well, maybe, our, our, our maybe search, if you watch it... Someone... <laughs> if you watched it, you'd understand. I'm sure yeah. someone uh, in YouTube is uh, doing us all solid and putting through a very uh, low budget film. If you know what I'm saying. I think the real life fucking documentary was the lowest budget film you can get, <laughs> <laughs> and, and you would only really understand that if you watch this fucking thing. Um, eh. it's, it's a big. I'm not. I'm listen. I'm not mad at you if you're not gonna watch it, but um, uh, you know, just just fucking watch it. You that no. was during phase one of quarantine, man. You just skipped a whole entire thing. Yeah, dude. It defines a generation. Yeah, it does. Gen C, foo. <laughs> yeah. Gen C, Gen COVID. Uh, yeah, that, that's the next generation. Uh, that's the next generation, Gen C. The next post COVID generation. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, Steph, I'm sorry, but these foos keep derailing from your American Idol updates. So. I, oh, my God. Okay, please do tell me of the update that I missed. <laughs> well, they've been doing it online. And Ryan Seacrest was uh, revealing the top two, and he started to slur his speech. What the fuck? Yeah, you got a stroke like, like Dick Clark. And then, like his right eye started to like no, close. No and way. His, and it's... his left eye was all big. You, you and then oh. you better not every... be doing the fucking New Year's special like Dick Clark did. That was no. Dude, people were freaking out on Twitter, man. So what? It was just gas. <laughs> just gas. Oh no, I guess um he they addressed himself. it and then they said that uh the the studio addressed it and said, "Oh, uh Ryan was probably having a tough time coping with working at home life balance." And I was like, "Get the fuck out of here. That dude is having a stroke on national TV." <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, he's back on, on TV. Yeah, he's Still back. back on TV. Back, returned to TV on Tuesday after taking a well-deserved break. How long ago was this? I think this like morning. this past weekend. Oh, really? Yeah, he never left Foos. <laughs> except, <laughs> never left. except except when he had a stroke. Yeah, he didn't have a stroke. So yeah, never they're lost. they're reporting he didn't have the stroke, but uh. I'm trying to make sure I can get a picture. Ah, oh, see, it's not downloading. God damn it! I was trying to show <laughs> you old Joe C a good picture of it. Um, I think uh, the the Fubar microphones were there though when he decided to come back. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The show goes on. <laughs> Fucking wrecking ball 
to take me out of here. Yeah. Foo. Foo, I uh, I still haven't seen that movie either. Foo, it's, it's a tragedy. God damn. Is it on Netflix? Can we watch it all together on Friday? Can we? All right, we'll get yes. back to that. Wait, wait, what? The Wolf of Wall Street? I don't think it's on Netflix. You don't think so? Oh, I haven't seen that movie either. It'd be silly of Netflix not to yes. have that. an outstanding movie. Misery loves company, foos. Yeah. Sometimes they like being alone, too. They have met you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, take a look on my screen. That's Ryan Seacrest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like... I don't oh, know, man. He had a stroke. He, or or mm. maybe he just had a lot of coffee that morning. Uh, I mean, I've gotten the jitters and looked like that at some point, I'm sure. Who they work at like nighttime. <laughs> well, Your man. whole logic is wow. thrown off, dude. Yeah, my bad. Well, poor dude. Um, yeah, he will be missed. I don't know. I don't know what to say. He's already, he's, he's already back, dude. Okay. All right. He's already back. Well, then he was him? missed. Here we are. He needs that B uh, vitamin shot to his face. Mm-hmm. No, no one needs that. Oh, he's I know what happened. I know what happened now. They forgot to Botox the other side. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Dang, yeah. foos. My bad. My bad, yo. Well, he forgot to get the treatment before this whole COVID thing went down. So that's true. It it wore off. Oh, he's, he's trying to relate really with Botox all the guys who want a haircut at the fucking protest. He's like, "Yeah, I want my Botox." Yeah, who can relate with that? Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All right. Nobody. Nobody. Are you also reading Goop? <laughs> Who do you bedazzle your vagina? Is there something wrong with that? Oh, oh yeah. You could spend $8,000 on a pair of boots. Yeah, just to fucking throw it in your face. Josh, Josh, Josh leave his mangina alone. <laughs> his his jazzly gina. Damn, Foo called dibs. It's Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Who's gonna be the new Louis Vuitton Don? Louis Vuitton Don. All right. Did you did you know uh, Louis Vuitton actually has dumbbell sets? Yeah, I believe it. No, there's nothing they're, 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 do. they're like six hundred dollars. For when you want to accessorize at the gym. Yeah. <laughs> it's like six hundred dollars for like a ten pound set. Jeez. <laughs> On a master Louis Vuitton gym bag? Well, here's some dumbbells. That might be it, actually. Food. They're selling you the bag, and the dumbbells <laughs> come you know, for free or whatever the fuck. Yeah, they come oh. in half a pound, a pound, <laughs> and uh, three pounds. Oh, they're, no. <laughs> guess how much they are. <laughs> like, really guess how much these dumbbells are. All right, I'm going to think of something ridiculous and $600. say $8,000. Okay, m- le- let, me, let me give you a hint. These are... Th- Three kilograms, which is about six point seven pounds. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shoot your guesses, shot, Steph. Guesses, guesses all around. Anybody? I just what? said six hundred. Six hundred. I I said a thousand. A thousand. Three thousand dollars. Oh, eight thousand. Eight thousand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm high, man. So I don't the, know so what the dollar, Bob. So the so the closest $1. person $1. is the foo without going over two thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars. Jeez. Oh, I gotta make sure those fucking triceps are toned as fuck. Toned as yeah. fuck. If anybody needs it, foo. <laughs> I, you. I know, right? <laughs> Start a GoFundMe right now. <clears throat> let's do it. Hold on, let's see how much a matching track. Actually, for the listeners out there, the foobarshow dot com does have a button at the bottom, you know, where if you care to donate, there's a PayPal button right there, where you get the foo some dumbbells from Louis Vuitton. What's that, Steph? How much is the matching track suit? Sick. Three grand. <laughs> oh, it's only nine hundred dollars. All right, so we're funding. Oh, this wait, for wait, the wait, food, wait, huh? wait, we're wait, doing this? wait, 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 wait. Next, next food harvest. He's like, hey, look, it's the furry Billie Eilish. It's uh, okay. it's about two thousand dollars. So the dumbbells cost more than your tracksuit. Nice. <laughs> sounds like the totally track, worth it. Sounds like the tracks the track suits a fucking steal then. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. You put it that way. Foo, speaking of Billie Eilish, Foo. Oh, great. What? She was she was on a podcast with Rain Wilson recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, she, the office is her favorite, I understand. Yeah, I guess she was bragging about Rain Wilson, like 
oh, I've watched it 15 times through. I just love it. And he's just like, dear God, 15 times? Can you do you not know how to watch other things? <laughs> just giving her <laughs> shit. Yeah. And then um, he was calling her William Eyelash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, they actually did a tri- oh, an office trivia, and she fucking got murdered. And he was just like, "Dude, maybe you need to watch it a sixteenth time." <laughs> <laughs> In your he just, face. He just fucking roasted Eilish there, fool. Dang. But she- isn't that the way all office fans are? I mean, you watch it so many times, but you can't answer any questions. It all blends in together, right? Nah, not me, son. No, it's all just one fool. long movie. Because. The- well, because the Foo's seen it a hundred times through. Oh, so. oh, That's yeah. the key, Foo. Triple digits. I wanna, hit the triple yeah, digit. I want to say that when we were all in the Foo house, we probably watched it at least 20 times in one year. Well, it was on nonstop. That's all it, it was. It was on nonstop. It's like, it As was soon, like our sports if, center. If was, you would have stopped changing it, we would have got through it faster. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on as soon as you walk into the house? It's like a sitcom. <laughs> just an office theme song. Yeah. It's, you know, when you, when you do it that often, I know when you do it that often, you time it perfectly where the foo comes home when he's working for the insurance companies and then the theme song played. Yeah. That's <laughs> oh, yeah. <right>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, shit. You guys got anything else for the uh, geeking out here? Did we even fucking geek out? We did. All right. All right, well, that's going to do it then. Yay! Well, let's go forward with the joint report, shall we? Are you on weed? Give me some. I'll smoke you two under the table. Well, fellas, I found this article on goodoldleafly.com, and uh, this, this explains the future of cannabis and cannabis production. Um, yeast fermentation, if you can believe it. Yeast. Yeast. And it's not just for your crotch, foo. Yeast oh. is, uh, yeah, dude. It, they, they're using yeast to um, to pinpoint specific types of cannabinoids in the cannabis plant. So um, sometimes it takes, it, it could take like months to grow an actual plant uh, and, and, uh, and then, you know, fuck with its genes, you know, with the many generations that you have to um, breed it. And uh, and then you harvest it, and then you know you gotta you gotta determine is this uh, a CBD dominant thing or is this a THC dominant thing? Um, they are able to now ferment it with yeast so that they can um, take out and extract a specific type of molecule from the cannabis plant, and then you know group it all together and purpose it and, and package it as such. Rather than uh, getting your oils by pressing down on the on the cannabis leaf and bud, uh, or any of the other uh, methods that we already know and love, they are they can do pretty much just about more than half of what they can to get these extracts out of the cannabis plant by fermenting it. And uh, this has been one of those break break breakthrough break God damn it breakthrough <laughs> things in the industry because the last time that we saw something like this or actually i don't know when the last time was but one of the more notable times that we saw something like this was with uh insulin they used yeast to make insulin uh, a lot cheaper than just by grabbing it from i believe the pig pancreas if i'm not mistaken yeah uh which uh, and now and then and then they were able to just produce a shit ton more and then made insulin cheaper so with with that logic they did the same thing with the cannabis plant and now you can get your oils and, and THC dominant, CBD dominant products out of that, which if they are able to do this on a grand scale and the entire industry shifts this way, it could potentially make cannabis and cannabis concentrates and extracts way cheaper than they are now because it's in mass production and it can and it'll take it won't take as long than if they farmed it, you know, and grew the plant and that kind of shit. So um, I think this is exciting. Hell yeah. And a I fucking breakthrough. Cheap, cheap weed. And this is coming straight from Canada right now. Um, and one of the things that's making this uh, work up there is that, you know, their laws are much different than ours. A cannabinoid is a cannabinoid no matter what. So uh, if it's a CBD product, if it's a THC rich product, they, they don't fucking care. It's all part of the same plant and it's not legal. I'm uh, not illegal, I mean. So. Um, they, you know, they're 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 spearheading this shit, and uh, you know, Canadians, you, you got to trust them sometime. So, 
This is the time. Foo, have you been to a 7-Eleven recently, Foo? Uh, not recently, Foo. Uh, they actually sell CBD products there, Foo. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's totally legal. Anybody can sell it. And as long as they yeah, label it as such, it. you know, if it has, they, it's labeled just like anything else that um, that isn't really kind of medical. You know, it, it, it doesn't claim to cure anything or anything like that. Um, and as long as it has that label on it, they're able, they're able to sell it anywhere. So take um, that, boo. Like, what are they selling? Drugs. Smokes, Most of the time it's like edibles, uh, gummies. Or, oils. Yeah, it's like. It's like oils or like gummies or so, sometimes like vitamin pills. Oh, wow. I know what I'm. I know what I'm gonna get Steph for Christmas now. What? A fucking book on CBD. I have the pot book. Yo, well, you it is literally called the pot book. You just took it out of the cart. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to save this for later? Delete. But anyway, Foos, aside from that, I have something to report uh, on, on the uh, on the Foo Bar front here at uh, Filthy Martini Studios. Uh, you know the uh, the double chamber bong that I uh, that I had? Yes. Uh-oh. And then oh, no. I was I was able to successfully uh, transform it into a dab rig with two chambers. Yes, Foo. And then the nail broke. Uh, but oh. I ha- <laughs> how, how did this nail break? Oh, gravity. Mm. Gravity. I was actually trying mm-hmm. to clean the bong and, you know, gravity and such. I, I, I don't have to explain gravity to you guys. Right, but, I'm in the other room, and then I just hear, "Oh no!" <laughs> and but and it's okay. Like, what? I had an older, really shitty, like it's it's worn out. Like I need to replace this fucking thing. Uh, I had an older nail that worked with the adapter that I uh, that I was using for you know to dab out of that that bong. So um, th- th- it'll be a temporary adjustment. Uh, but you know the new one's on the way. Uh, good old Amazon Prime is here uh, to save us all. So, nice food. Yeah. Nice and uh, food. I, I wanted to Hold talk on. about the the stuff it came with. I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, but the uh, the specific nail that I'm getting from Amazon, and I think I already showed you guys, it has those two little balls in there. Um, hmm. And uh, yeah, and then it came with a, 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 a cap. Uh, AKA a penis. <laughs> <laughs> a little ball and a cap. A little, little two balls and, uh, and a big cap. Little so, Kaiser but, Soze. But it makes for an it makes for an awesome hit though with those things. And you know the reason for that is you know when you cap it, it it, it makes it creates this kind of vortex. The the air does this kind of vortex thing. So then the balls start kind of going. So is in this a circle. after you get it heated? Is that is after you get it heated and after you actually put the dab in there and then you cap it off, and then uh, as you inhale, the balls are, are swirling around the uh, the nail. And in which case, it's, it's distributing evenly the heat throughout the nail. And, you know, sometimes when you don't have those two balls rolling around, they, um, there's, there's a lot of, like, residual uh, wax or concentrate on the nail. <laughs> Bro, and you got to get that checked at the doctor. I'm saying. <laughs> well, there you have it. You got to get oh, your heated first. Your balls should not be rolling around so much, man. Mm-hmm. Or have so much wax first. on them. <laughs> Boo, then the you balls should talk after an advice. I don't. Josh does, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. That's better. That's much better. <laughs> and the only thing he's doing, he's using coconut oil for relief. Well, that's... Keeping that's, it... That's just Keeping nice. it organic, dude. Keeping it classy. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have to do that, and he's doing it for you. So soft. I <laughs> do. <laughs> oh, oh, God damn. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Pooh, you want to know something? This. I haven't had... <laughs> Well, I haven't had dabs since February. Oh, damn. Going, come over, Foo. Are you going through withdrawals, Foo? Nah. No, don't come over. Here. He has the Rona. <laughs> he has a Rona. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Get your Rona shit out of here. Actually, Foo, the Federation got put on, listed as essential workers in California, Foo. Oh, yeah? The Federation, can get, the Federation can get tested whenever it wants, but we don't want to. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why not? I'm just kidding. I bet you it's, I bet you it's a Federation D weeds are fucking doing it. Oh, right. uh, I don't, I don't need to yet because I'm being safe. I'm uh, social distancing. I'm not washing clothes. I'm not washing my car. That's wait, what it means, right? Wait, 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 uh, wait, no, wait, dude, not wait. washing clothes. That's just a regular day in your life, your asshole, dude. 
Uh, every day that starts with a T. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Oh, my. You don't, wash, kidding, you don't wash your clothes. You just buy new ones. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Macy's, reason. dude. Right? This is getting burnt today. Yeah. <laughs> I nah, know what but, I'm uh, using for Kenley. <laughs> no, nah, I, I, I really haven't fucking washed my car in like two months, and I really need to. You need to, and then you need to wipe down your steering wheel and your your gears and your your handbrake and and your and your seatbelt because people forget to wipe that it's, down. It's not a handbrake staff, it's a button. All oh, right, you you yeah, got a wait, you got a button? He has an accord. Yeah, Welcome button. to oh, the future, fuck. staff. He doesn't have the, the shitty old found the charger. Button. No, I got I got a handbrake in my car. I got the the fucking drift brake. Hmm. Damn Japanese foo. What? Yeah. That's Toyota. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I got a Toyota. What of it? You got a Honda, bro. That's yeah. Yeah, fuck so, you. So what? We're in the same. <laughs> we're in the same zone, man. Red them so fight. Red them fight. Wait, is uh, <laughs> Honda also Japanese? Yes. 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 <laughs> Good what? to know. What the fuck did you and, think you were buying? And I'm out. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. God damn it. <laughs> well, Foos, uh, I got nothing else for the uh, the good old joint report. You want to move on to sports? Yeah. Let's All move right. On. Smoke weed every day. So, I have it. Under my general understanding, NASCAR's back. Foo, that quite NASCAR. Stuff, that the foo never watched the Last Stand. Being the huge basketball fan that he what? claims to be, didn't watch oh, one of the, of the best and notable documentaries of this generation. What the hell's the Last Stand? Last Dance, foo. Oh, you just said last stand. I yeah, heard really? last stand oh, also. All right, my bad. Anyway, there, there's you a lot. Knew what there's I meant. a lot of foo, There's a lot English of last. English is a second language, foo. It is. Oh, my really bad, is. my bad. <laughs> but you don't have to take Thanks, it there, Josh. Josh. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know ice was on this call. <laughs> 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 they might be if you didn't lock the meeting. <laughs> oh, oh ooh. yeah, that's true. Oops. Well, it's a good thing I got my papers. But foos. Uh, or at least Josh and Steph, dude. How great was the were the last two episodes, man? Oh man, uh, he ate totally the pizza. He ate the pizza. He was the only one who nobody wanted to eat the pizza. He ate the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> then he got food poisoning. Well, like why? After someone opens the door like that to yeah. deliver your pizza, and you still decide to fucking eat it. Yeah, I mean. And did you hear that? I guess now, like in uh, Utah, the pizza owner um, said that he, you know, he's like, no, there's no way uh, that there was no food poisoning. It's bullshit. Jordan's lying. There's no, there's no food poisoning. Yeah, right. Yeah. What is, I mean, he I didn't mean, have to personally do it, but the driver who delivered it definitely did, especially with, you know, his entourage that was trying to look in through the fucking door mm-hmm. when it was being <laughs> delivered. And, and 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 how stupid is Jordan? I know he was hungry, but goddamn, dude, these guys are poisoning you in the middle of fucking finals. I mean, like he's real. a single-minded guy, as we've seen throughout this entire fucking documentary. Yeah, he's true. a one-track mind. But I like how sad he looked when he said, "I'm the only one who ate the pizza." Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably for the best. Imagine if like three or four of the guys or starters ate the pizza and then got sick like that. It would have been done. They wouldn't have had the fortitude. Not likely that that uh, Jordan uh, did. This this entire documentary has given us so much meme material from <laughs> all the things <laughs> Jordan has done. <laughs> Like the the reaction to Gary Payton mm-hmm. um, oh, saying yeah. that he, he tired him out to, and he just kind of like oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's all I had no problem with the glove yeah I, I had no problem with Gary Payton <laughs> so, yeah like, dude Jordan was like the ultimate shit talker too especially when he walked out of the locker room and he saw uh, Carl Malone and John Stockton just chilling there and he dapped him up <laughs> he's just like all right. 
See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was nice seeing the mailman at work, though, man. Oh, I remember oh, those days. Dude, rain or shine, the motherfucker delivered as much as he, he could. Was wrestling with uh, Rodman on the ground. Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. Dude, was, uh, yeah. Malone the, is like, huge. I forget how huge he was. Oh, he's a beast. Dude, was a big man, dude. Fucking arms, man. They're nuts. Probably those squirrels that he ate. I mean, shit. Something. Yeah. Something's going on. Stockton <laughs> was okay. the one. He would he would rub his face whenever he did a free throw, right, to say hi to his family. He was it was that him? John Stockton. Yeah, if if no, I remember, John Stockton. That was Jason Kidd. That was Jason Kidd. John Stockton is Kidd? the is the third one, one of the top three greatest point guards of all time. He he holds the record for the most assists in the NBA, mm-hmm. and it's like by a wide margin that no one can possibly like reach. Great. I mean, this guy. This guy oh, I got, believe it, yeah. Foo, what did he get in one game? Like 20, 25? Like 27 assists or something. Damn. Something fucking ridiculous that yeah. I, I think the best assist performance we've ever seen since then is like 17 in a game. Wow. Yeah, and he still put up like 15 points. On his like own? This dude could still put up like 15 points and give you like almost 30 assists a night. Which mm-hmm. is insane. Mm-hmm. Just as I mean, uh, an assist is just as important. You're putting it up there for your guy to slam or, or make in. So yeah, you're setting them up. Mm-hmm. Like you're, you're making it easier for you're making it. You're leading to a direct score. If this much. was and, uh, if this was that that silly game where you use a broom on ice, you're the guy with the broom. Curling. Yes, yeah, curling. Who uh, us in the entertainment industry like to call an alley oop. Uh, okay. <laughs> The alley oops. <laughs> I didn't know you were so connected, Foo. Uh, you know, man, the mob. I mean, uh, yeah, basketball and shit. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Utopians, man. But uh, anybody who hasn't seen the last dance uh, is missing out, including you, Foo. Uh, you get that? Get on that stat, dude. Uh, you you won't like you won't for real. How it. long have we been talking about this? We talk about it if, every week. If anyone hasn't seen it and want to rejoice with me or just you know have a friend just nah, you know man. at, nah, at me, nah, at, me at, own. at me at lord underscore of underscore the foo underscore <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of underscoring why do you have so much underscore why are you under, trying to underscore yourself man he's trying to underscore. oh i can't tell you he's trying to underscore <laughs> Done uh, and done. oh fuck she figured it out <laughs> so so foo you actually brought up a point though because of this last dance documentary so so you guys you guys think it was like revolutionary right a great great documentary it was One a of the great best sports documentary great documentary period yeah i mean they moved it up for our entertainment purposes because espn had nothing else to show no they're actually planning on releasing it during uh during the playoffs i think in like mm-hmm. i think sometime this month mm. that's when their original release plan was because they knew fucking Braun was coming for that chip foo. Yeah. See foo. But uh yeah, man, it's it's great. So foo, continue your point. Um, I actually wanted to discuss with you foos openly, of course. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh well thank you for that. Which which next ten part documentary should we uh should we or would we like to see? And here, here are some options, Foos. Right. Some of the great, some of the great teams in the last twenty-ish years. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Warriors, who have made the finals every year since twenty fifteen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, the Heat, uh, which I don't know why this douchebag calls them the Heatles. Get the fuck out of here. Heatles. Yeah, never heard that. Well, okay, that's when um, LeBron. that was the, LeBron came to Miami and the, his the, talents the, to the, Miami, Foo. Dude, the first heavily scrutinized big three, dude. I mean, they were villains for two years, yeah, bro. They were. Yeah. They were straight I, villains. It's because of no one liked them. It was yeah, how we Cel- did the it. Celtics weren't even villainized like that. Exactly. That's why it's pretty polarizing. And I would really like to see that. However, not finished. Uh, <laughs> Tim Duncan and the Spurs. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Because he, uh, he also had a 20 year career. Like Kobe, yep. Uh, Tim Duncan mm-hmm. did, um, and then he ended up winning five championships as well. A lot of people forget that he has as many championships as Kobe Bryant, mm-hmm. and he has That's more right. MVPs. 
And he has more he actually, MVPs. He has, uh, what, four or five MVPs? Uh, four. Four, right? Yeah, he has four yeah, MVPs. Wow. And then Duncan is a legit Hall of Famer. The, the big fundamental, Foo. The big, big fundamental. fundamental. And then one option, which I know we would be salivating our, our opportunity to get a watch on this, Foo. Shaq and Kobe Lakers. Oh. Shaq and Kobe Lakers, from, hands down. Has to be on the, you know, at least top yeah. for me. And that would be from Kobe getting drafted to the Kobe Shaq breakup year. Mm. Wow. Tell me how my ass tastes, Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> Quote Shaq. Yep. Damn, I would love to Honestly, see Kobe and Shaq. I-, I would love it if they did it not just their Lakers tenure. I would like it if they span their whole like Kobe's whole career and but it's they also have Shaq because Shaq was a it's huge like what they did with Jordan just now. Yeah. You know if they did something well, like that. Well Josh I, and I'm sure you know this Kobe actually did that his last season. He did what they did to Michael Jordan. They filmed it. Yeah he had they oh, just like it. they did done deal then. So especially yeah, now so, that he's passed. So oh dude Kobe's immortalized, dude. I mean, that it's what he wanted when he was younger, and I'm sure he didn't want it, you know, once but, he started getting with his family. So I think we were all in agreement on the on the chat previously that that the Lakers, uh, Kobe Shaq should be the next documentary. One because you know posthumously, you know, because of Kobe's death, but also because of the entertainment value in it. What would you guys would what what would you guys say? would be the close second or the next one up because that obviously is going to be the one that's more hotly debated. I think the one after the Lakers, the one that go ahead. I think, think, Oh my bad. The the one, the goddamn neighbors are having a drive by party. It's fucking annoying. (laughs) Whose birthday is it? They're honking their horns. Aren't they? Put them on the podcast. And then like this one assholes out there, just fucking beep. Oh, I can hear beep, beep. And he's like in the same spot. And it's like, do get the shotgun. Look, just go out there and then just be like, who's on my lawn? Who are these kids? Uh, nah, fuck that guy. Fuck that neighbor. <laughs> Anyways. Wow. Um, I here. think I think personally. Oh, I can hear it. Uh, That's a noise. Uh, son of a bitch, dude. <laughs> focus, food, focus. Yeah, I know. Sorry. You do not personally. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> all right, personally, I think with all the drama surrounding it and just like Josh said, the fucking when the Celtics got their big 3, they were nowhere scrutinized or fucking uh public enemy number 1 as much as Dwayne Wade, LeBron and Chris Bosh when they uh formed the super team. Yeah. Um I, I think that would be second just in terms of popularity. However, Personally, I would love to see the Tim Duncan one because this guy straight up flew under the radar and had five championships in 20 years. Hell yeah, Tim Duncan. And he I would beat, love to see that. He, he beat LeBron for three of them, I think. Or no, for uh, two of them. For two of them, he beat LeBron. Um, and he won his rookie year with David Robinson and then David Robinson retired. And then I think he won another one with Ginobili. And I forget. Oh, I think they won in like 2005. Five or, yeah. no, five or six because they played the Pistons. Yeah, they, they won the in Pistons. the two, Yeah, it was 2005 because the Heat uh, with Shaq won in 2006. Mm-hmm. Shaq yeah. and D-Wade. That's right. Against the Mavs. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no, honestly, yeah, I think the, the Spurs dynasty is – is far more intriguing only because, like, fuck, no one, no one even remembers that the Spurs won five chips. That they were able to sneak in five chips in between the Lakers dynasty. Yeah, like that's it. That's that's really what the, what happened between the Lakers and the Warriors. It exactly, flip flopped quite dude. a bit. Um, What's that? It, it, there, there was a lot of flip flopping quite a bit. Uh, the 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 big the big names were were Lakers, Celtics, Spurs, way back when. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the Spurs were part of the the ABA. Um, wow! When they, first, when they first started, they were a part of the American Basketball Association, along with like the Nets, the Bullets, and the and Nuggets. Um, but like, I, I get what you're saying, Phil. Yeah, like they're the big uh, franchises. 
where um i mean detroit was actually a bigger franchise because of the bad boy pistons yeah like, they, they were they were like it was it was either detroit the lakers or the celtics especially in the 80s and the early 90s and then fucking jordan just jordan woke just up. rocked the 90s dude do you think that a team like the bad boy pistons would fly today no hell no yeah. No, not not they'd, be, today's they'd all be suspended. <laughs> <laughs> just right off the bat, yeah. you're suspended. Just yeah. season starts. You know what? Just take 12 games off. And, you know, <laughs> right? In fact, don't come back. Yeah. You're number 19. What an eyesore. Suspended five games. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I, I would personally like to see the Spurs. Uh, Tim Duncan won championship with Greg Popovich in 99, 03, 05. And eleven and twelve, or twelve and thirteen. Mm-hmm. And then who mm-hmm. who who thought he was going to win in 2012, 2013, dude? Not this podcaster. No. I know. And then in those years, we, we see the emergence of Kawhi Leonard. Mm. Mm-hmm. I think it was his third year in the league. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and he was just coming into his own too. He was starting to and the then ball he, out. And then he won the um. He won the uh, MVP in the 2013 Finals MVP exactly. Yeah, yeah, that was a good, that was a good, uh, good team. What those first teams were good teams. They always pissed me off, man. Especially with Bruce Bowen. Bruce Bowen I hated Bruce always Bowen, pissed me off because he always deed up Kobe. Like, like he he was always a problem for Kobe. Him and Raja Bell. Those two were punk asses when it came on the defense. They would suck every other night, but then when the Lakers come into town, they're all good. All of a sudden, they're like yeah. the top defenders in the fucking they got league. Got their number few. Yeah. He was a Bruce Bowen was also suspended, I believe, in one of his. Uh, I forget which season, but um, he was actually when players were shooting jump shots, he was stepping under their feet and intentionally oh, trying to yeah. sprain their ankles. So. Ooh. That guy was yeah, he'll get nasty. in their way. So he'll Josh, get in their landing zone. Josh, let me ask you, who's number two then for you? Um, so you see, you said the Spurs, Lakers, the Heat, and what was the fourth one? Well, it would be the oh, Spurs, the, the Heat, or the Warriors. Or Which the Warriors. one would you want to watch after the Lakers? Of course, of course, of course, of course. You know, both the both the Heat and the the Warriors were vilified. When you know when their big threes and their dynasties began, uh, because of the the fashion of either teams went. So I would say I would want the Spurs second, just because, like you said, five championships. How does the team go and win five championships under the radar? You know, you know, and, and all these other teams' shadows for twenty years that you know Tim Duncan was in the league, mm-hmm. and. And then I would say after that one, the Heat, and then the Warriors. I say is last because it's the dynasty the, still recent. Yeah, it, it's there, but it's still it's still recent in re, recent in history. And I I think I'd rather focus on stuff that's at we'll least five or out. ten years older. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. And goddamn, dude, fucking Phil Jackson never should have saved that mustache through after the three peat. <laughs> and we would have got, and we would have got four in a row. Dang, what's that? You, you know, fun fact: Steve Kerr is the only player to ever win four championships in a row. Yeah, because really? he won. Yeah, he won from ninety-five to, to ninety-eight with the Bulls. Oh no, nine, no ninety-eight with the Bulls. Ninety-six. Uh, yeah, ninety-six through ninety-nine. The three, the Jordan second three Pete, and then Tim Duncan when he got drafted the next year. Thanks for interrupting me, Dick. I was just getting to that. <laughs> Stole your thunder, man. Wow. I'm, s- I'm sorry. Your That's Zoom it. is lagging. That's it. That's it. Those Maybe I'm just right ma- back in the vice. Leave that, me. That, those nuts are going right back in I'm, the vice. I was, about to, I was about to say, dude, they had, they never left. So, you know what? This is your fault. Why are you interrupting there me? There we go. Problem solved. You do not interrupt me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <clears throat> What's that, Foo? What are you saying? I was saying. Oh, oh beautiful! Oh, <laughs> that's like, a... that's, that's like a the equivalent of oh, he got moated. Moated. <laughs> moated. Dang food! Now you gotta sit and eat lunch alone. I gotta eat under the tree like a douchebag. Like yeah. a like a goddamn douche. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Son of uh, a bitch, dude. Are, are they, they still there? Still having that parade? <laughs> this has been going on too long, dude. This person cannot possibly be this special. Well, Foo, what if they are, though? Like, well, then all right, then. I'll allow it. <laughs> like, it's well, all an <laughs> autistic kid, and, you know, he's out there in his wheelchair <laughs> waving. USA! 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then now we look like the assholes. Whatever. Yeah, I know. You know, we'll go out there and investigate. Gonna... Do it. Thanks, some investigative thanks journalism. Staff for calling us out. Investigative so journalism. Go for real quick. Uh, no speaking of this whole carpool parade thing, we did one for my my cousin down the street. Yeah, yeah you did. you're part of the problem. Yeah, you did. My mom, my mom made me go, so she. Oh, made me go. here we go. Dude, it's my cousin. He has a, he has ulcer of colitis. He actually has a mental uh, oh. medical difference. So all right, all right. <laughs> Spare us the fucking sob story. So how'd it go? Oh, so wow. what? Does he shit a lot? <laughs> no, he actually has a colostomy bag. You dick. <sighs> all right, yeah, I take that like, back. I'm like, sorry. Yeah, like how, shit you, I'm sorry. how do you fucking feel, <laughs> you terrible person? Look, I'm sorry, uh, Jose. Man. I know you, Jose. I'm sorry, but that's still annoying. Well. No, what is no. this sports? It... <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is no sports, kid. There's okay. no fucking sports. That's, fucking <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> this is all we have. We're stretching it so far. <laughs> <laughs> There's only so much we can stretch with this material. <laughs> no, man. So how long was your, your festivities? Oh, yeah, how long parade. was your parade? Okay, I'm oh, sorry. I take that I back. I'm why. an asshole. I, I really only wanted to do one lap and then just go right home. But my mom's like, no, we got to go a couple of times. I'm like, what? fuck. So I'm like, all right. I'm like, that's fine. I'm going to play a song for him, though. So I busted out 2 Chain's, uh <laughs> birthday song. And it, I don't know if you guys have heard this song. It's all, all I want for my birthday is a big booty help. All I want to blast that shit on my mom's radio down the street, and he's just like, "Yeah!" Hell yeah! Hell Your yeah. mom just freaking out. My mom's just like, "Oh my god, I can't believe it!" And my aunt is just shaking her head, and my other cousin, his sister Jasmine's like clapping too, like, "Yeah!" Like, fucking <laughs> just doing the sign of the cross. Yeah, no, <laughs> madre de Dios. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, so funny, funny story. Uh, I, think, I think we're done with sports, man. There's nothing else to go. Oh, really? no, poor sports. Right. Well, well, I mean, um, NASCAR's back. Oh, for fuck's yeah. sake. No. Okay, oh, Steph, yeah. damn it. We're damn definitely it. done. We're definitely done. <laughs> Well, sick. you know what's also well, lit right now is marble races. Marble races. Woo! Have you guys? Yeah, you I've guys been on that. Like, yeah, marble races. That's what's that. up. That's what's up. It's exciting, especially when you got a good uh, announcer mm -hmm. calling it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I, you know, the... know what? I would actually bet on a game of Moncala. Okay. Hmm. Never... If, if they would air a game of Moncala between you know people that are just kind of you know quarantined together, I would watch it because. Hmm. The fuck else is there to do? Last week tonight has sponsored what is it, the Marble Olympics or some shit? Some shit like that. John <laughs> Oliver. That guy's ridiculous. That guy's funny as shit, man. Dude, each marble has a backstory. <laughs> 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 and they do uh, how many of them came from troubled neighborhoods? Yeah. Dude, right? <laughs> that was all about mama growing up. And uh, it's it was, and it's just the big marble, you know, the big fat one. There you go. Yeah. Anyway. The uh, the Punisher. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm playing marbles in a fucking minute, dude. I don't know what it's called. I just said it was. That, uh, I'm just. Okay. I'm just. That's that's its name now. Sure. It's the Punisher the, now. The yes. Punisher. All right. Agreed. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Music. Music highlights. Oh. I said it here. Well, Foos, I got three new songs that came out this year, and all three of them are from bands we've uh, actually featured on the show, but they have new singles that came out this year. Uh, the first one is by a... It's not a he's not a band. He's a, he's, he's a guy. He's, he's actually a part of a duo <laughs> on the side. 
Uh, this is actually his side project, and he calls it Des Rocks. Damn, that's uh, a lot of explaining. Oh yeah, I mean, he's, he's a <laughs> dude. He, he was like, he's a band, he's a band, but he's a dude. And I'm like, but he's a uh, dude. I mean, but he is, he has his band, and he has his project called Des Rocks. This is one hell of an elevator pitch. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> if I wasn't interrupted, <laughs> it, w- it would have been playing by now. Anyway, it's this new song called Wayne. Fucking check it out. You fucking douchebag. Try it just a little slice. Yeah. Just call me Wayne and I'll run into your It's the day I it's the day I did. And we'll all go down in Honey, show me where to be. I want to feed the monster according to dreams. And then I'll show them all what I can do one day. If I'm a star, I'll be my own worst enemy. Good days and bad days, and they all feel the same. And if it kills me, you're going to know my name. Now I'm afraid to sleep at night. Those who love me never feel the light. Haunted by the darkest sky. So I obviously like this guy because he's he takes me back to like uh, back when they used to make industrial metal music. Uh, you know, for example, your Marilyn Manson, Rob Zombie, Nine Inch Nails, that kind of thing. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and he's doing it in a new way. I mean, this guy is originally a DJ, and that, like I was trying to say at the beginning of this, was that he's a part ah. of a duo of a, a, an electronic duo. And so this side project is more of a rock flavor to it. And I think he does it really well because it really takes me back to that kind of music that you don't really hear that much anymore. Um, you know, if somebody decides to use electronic uh, type of instruments or equipment, it usually just ends up taking an electronic feel to it all the way through. Uh, but not this guy. This guy really, um, he really knows kind of how to incorporate the rock and roll that we've been missing for the last couple decades in this type of music. Um, but I hope you guys dug that one because it kind of took me for a loop the first time I heard it. I don't know what direction it was headed. Kind of had this uh, this old vibey kind of folksy thing going down, rockabilly, which it still maintained a rockabilly flavor through it. But uh, it really took a metal turn. Yeah, it gets higher energy real fast. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I could tell, Foos. I could tell. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, this next one is by another band that I featured on here before. They're called Pup. P U P. Pup. Oh, I like Pup. C. Um, and these guys, if you've checked them out on YouTube, just I can imagine just watching them live, it would be exhausting. The energy that this guy expresses in his voice alone is amazing. He's a very <laughs> talented dude. And uh, it just seems like everybody's just, just, you know, got done doing a couple rails of coke. And started playing some fucking punk music. So this single, which is hard to pronounce, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Anaphylaxis. I think I nailed it. Uh, it's a I single that you are correct. Yeah, it came out this year, 2020, off of that same single of the same name, Anaphylaxis. Seriously, after that little preview, I can't imagine these guys 
you know, what their resting heart rate might look like or if this is actually it. Because these guys are just full of energy. Every single freaking track these guys put out is like this. It's amazing. Yes. Good shit. Good shit. See. Uh, last but not least is a band that I've played on here again before called Mondo Cosmo. They came out with a single uh, just recently called Upside Down. It also kind of encompasses like a, a little electronic flavor. But I think when all new alternative music, uh, there's no way around it. And that I think that's where the times are taking us. Uh, but like I said before, just like with Des Rocks earlier, uh, these guys really put a really fun spin to it. So Upside Down by Mondo Cosmo. If they're coming from the dealer If the drinks are truly free And the odds are in my favor Someone gotta go, go, go Get the money, yeah Cut it up, cut it up It's Friday night And in my experience Yeah, the timing's right Yeah, let's cut it up, cut it up It ain't my fault It's a love song, girl Come turn it up So, yeah, that one would actually sound awesome at the beach if I can go to the beach these days. With well, the... you could even go to the beach before. You would die. <laughs> hey, I know, foo. Who are you kidding, man? <laughs> yeah, well, nobody has to know, foo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sun know, fucking kills me, dude. Hey, I was doing after... yard work last week, and now I'm peeling. That is all. Burnt. You burnt. Mm-hmm. Porcelain doll. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> My eyes are always open. Ooh, did you apply any sunscreen, Fu? No, no, no. No, no, no. he doesn't believe in it. <laughs> there's believe the problem. It. It there's, the, there's the problem, Fu. There's a problem. I just, I need a, I need a, uh, I need a, somebody to apply it. Seth, get it on it. It comes in a spray. Yeah, well, you know, I need to spray it up and walk into oh, it. Oh, my God. Like a nice he, cologne. He, Steph, you he would are like the laziest again. person in the world. You guys need Food. to just, uh, can we make fun of Josh again? <laughs> Josh no. has been cool this entire episode. All right, fine, fine. Yeah, man. Let's see how it Fuck is. You. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jose. Uh, all right. Well, let's just, move just on. Just because you like to get fucking sunscreen in the nude. <laughs> you don't? He likes to get rubbed down, man. Uh oh. I mean, Steph. Up. What? Steph, what you went Word for. to what? your mother, foo. So, uh, do you guys want to uh, go on to the Foo Facts? This is uh, the, the new, uh, this is episode two of us uh, having a Foo Facts here. Now, Josh, uh, I, I, I can see that you are not amused, uh, but that <laughs> may know. change I'm after ready. the uh, the Foo gives us some facts. <laughs> so, Foo, clo- close this out, uh, close this episode out in good old Foo fashion. Uh, pardon the alliteration there, I didn't mean that on purpose, but go ahead with your Foo Facts. All right, Foo. Well, I hope this one is a doozy for you. Oh, jeez. Wow, these don't these do not look the same. This is it. Wow, these are new facts of the day. Look at that. My bad. My bad. I thought. I mean, you sounded so certain about. Okay, go ahead. That's premature Foo faxillation, Foo. Oh. <laughs> Learning all kinds of things today. It's educational. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here's a, uh, a random one. Damn it, I wanted to choose one of the last ones I saw, but oh well. <laughs> all right, here we go. Our loss. Uh, who fact of the day, Foo? HBO passed up The Walking Dead, uh, Breaking Bad, and Mad Men because they were too violent. The same network that brought us the Sopranos, yep, and Game of Thrones, for real, and board and Boardwalk Empire, and mm-hmm. hours and hours of softcore pornography. I, you're telling me, bro, you're telling me. This was a more con- controversial fact of the day, actually. Yeah, man, yeah, I'm upset. Wait, so they else? they passed those up, but they're gonna take on 
uh, fucking Teen Titans. Yeah. Oh, dude, they would do amazing with Teen Titans. I don't, you know, I, I Teen Titans just as violent as those sh- shows. Was HBO trying to rebrand itself in the mid two thousands? Because that's where all those shows were coming out, right? Like Breaking Bad yeah. came out in like the mid to late two thousands. Um, yeah, I could I have so. sworn they were trying to rebrand themselves as like not, you know, not the Sopra- not not the network that brought you the Sopranos. Um, you know, and pro- try to be more family friendly. Uh, but you know, it's HBO. Nobody's gonna take them seriously if they do that. Damn, you want to hear a dark one, foo? Do I? Let's do this. All right, here we go, man. This is pretty disturbing, actually. All right. On the Indonesian island of Tana Toraja, if a baby dies before he or she starts teething, the family cuts a hole in a tree and places the dead child inside. Jesus. The tree, the tree regrows around the baby and absorbs it. I'm pretty sure that's how Swamp Thing was created, right? I don't think so. <laughs> before, One with the nature. Be, you mean before he started teething? <laughs> yeah, before he started teething. Yeah. I mean, you, have you seen a tooth on teeth. Swamp Thing? Oh. Damn. <laughs> think about it. Dude, I don't want to think about it. Well, Foo, uh, is, is that is that all you got for today? Is that all the Foo facts? I felt like they were a little underwhelming, so how about a couple more? What do you mean? That was pretty deep, that last one. <laughs> that last one was too dark, all right? All right, I need some joy in my life. All right, all right here's a good one. Uh, the FBI started compiling a file on Sasha Bear Cohen while he was suing Borat after receiving hundreds of complaints about a strange man traveling around the country in an ice cream truck. <laughs> Uh, wow that's uh <laughs> the topper uh, is the I mean, ice cream truck yeah i know if you ask me food they should have the fbi should have started when he was dolly g foo but who am i yeah but do you prefer uh ollie g uh over uh borat or are you more of a uh bruno guy it hits close to home food because I watched Dali G when I was a teenager. So okay, that yeah. guy's funny, man. That guy's one of the best. We forget how great that guy is. He's a gem. Yeah, yeah. he's a real gem. I still haven't seen the Brother Grimsby, but I heard it's pretty funny, and I heard it's it's pretty nasty too. Steph, you watch weird shit. You've seen that, right? Yeah, a long time ago, but I, uh, I can't I remember it. a lot of the details though. Yeah, if we wait till the podcast stands, you're gonna get the whole fucking movie spoiler for you. <laughs> it's okay. It's a, it's what I like. I haven't watched it. Oh yeah, you like spoilers, you fucking weirdo. I don't like them. I just don't care to get upset over them, like some people do. I just accept. Yeah, Foo, you said get your stick up out of your ass. <laughs> yeah, foo. That's what I said. I'm gonna do Straight up. It. <sighs> <laughs> well, foos. Um, yeah, another successful podcast, if I may say. Foos. What you, foos. What's your definition of successful? It's pretty loose. Okay. <laughs> loose okay. against that, that tracks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, Foo, uh, Foo, are we going to do any special event coming up, Foo? The day is almost upon us, Foo. Yeah, we're uh, we're going to turn... What are we going to turn? Two? Two years old, Foo? We're going to turn two we're years turn... old. What? Or, we're what? on season three. Yeah, well, I divided the seasons based on the year we're in. So the first season was a very short season that it was only from May to December. Why do I need to be explaining this to you on the air? <laughs> Steph, just think of The Office. Season one was six, and the rest were 20, okay? Just just, just take All that. All right. It's called the pilot season, Steph. <laughs> Yeah. All right. We had Steph. we had to work we had to work through David. Okay. We yeah. I wasn't there was for curve. almost all of season one. That Remember? was awesome. Food. That was <laughs> that awesome was, when you when you guys broke year. up. Yeah. Well, <laughs> listen. Uh, I will say that if it wasn't for David, we probably wouldn't have launched as quickly and as efficiently as we did. But uh, but when he left, I mean, it was kind of good written. <laughs> uh, those are the days. That was a crazy time. Was a crazy it was like time. the caterpillar foo we sprung from the cocoon. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I think uh, then, that, we blossomed. We blossomed into this fucking shitty flower. We we've we've brought on a lot of good talent, man. Mm-hmm. Since then, see, see, oh, it's all about not caring and having an open mind. I mean, you got to care, but zero fucks. But yeah, there you go. I couldn't have said it better myself. Zero fucks to give. Uh, as long as you know, it's controlled chaos most of the time. Yeah, I think it's just chaos. Uh, shut up. Shut up. Oh, <laughs> I really like that explanation, Foo. Thank you, Foo. See, it, 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 it makes it sound like you actually watch The Witcher and know what the fuck's going on. Oh. 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 I couldn't tell you what the fuck happens in that goddamn show. Um, the ma- magic is from controlled chaos, Foo. Go figure. Oh, is that? Oh, look, see, I, I don't fucking know. That's <laughs> what we need to watch. No, we don't. We just finished Better Call Saul. We need to rewatch. We've caught the up, man. Better Call Saul. We're up to, uh, you know, we saw season five already. Waiting for season six to hit. Dang, there's gonna be, like, what are these guys gonna do? Go up to like season twelve of prequels. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they're gonna stretch yeah. out a day. A day for, before like, an entire season. A there, day before he like meets. Um, it's gonna be twenty four, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I gotta say, it's it's um, for those. <laughs> For those who know and love Breaking Bad and have never given Better Call Saul a shot, I will say it's it's not, and this is, and please, you know, just, just understand this, Breaking Bad was one of the best shows of all fucking time. To say that Better Call Saul isn't as good as that isn't saying it's a bad show. It's just saying it's not fucking A-plus fucking caliber Breaking Bad. But I got to say... Better Call Saul, not only is it a great show with a lot of the original like cast, you have Mike, you have Saul, you have all the greats, you have Gus Fring, uh, you know, the, the entire backdrop of what is Breaking Bad is established. The world is set up for you. They're setting the fucking table in, in now what appears to be season five going into six. So and so you get a lot of the reasons why Jimmy or I'm sorry, better, uh, Saul Goodman is the way that he is. Uh, a, a lot of the reasons why um, a lot of the characters, a lot of the villains that you see in Breaking Bad are the way that they are. They are they are all all the villains are introduced in Better Call Saul. So it really kind of gives you that backstory of what everybody's motive is and where they come from and why they're so pissed at each other the way that they are. And then all of a sudden, freaking this this high school teacher finds himself in between all that. Um uh, it's amazing. They they really set it up and they're doing it well. The fact that Vince Gilligan is also a part of the production, it's it's like it, they shoot it exactly how they shoot Breaking Bad. So you still have that feeling that you have when you're watching Breaking Bad. Um, so uh, I recommend the shit out of it. It's all it's it's pretty much what I'm saying. Ah, poo. Look at you. Yeah, man. Uh, hey Josh, you want me to? I'm gonna. Throw some info your way, foo. Drop some knowledge real quick. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> um, you remember how you mentioned that the uh, the uh, the actors of Community re- recently reunited for uh, a rereading of season five? Yeah. Um, well, I guess that uh, there is speculation now because of the the actual meeting that um, Dan Harmon is floating the idea of actually making it. Hashtag six seasons in the movie, foo. Oh, nice. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> it was a fact, but I didn't want to play the whole thing. Oh, wait, this is actually good news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, man. Nice. So they said, uh, uh, yeah, that that's probably something that they want to work on together someday, which means it'll eventually happen, foo, if we're going at Dan Harmon speed, foo. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, homeboy's got Take two shows now on. Uh, What's on cable. is Jeff gonna be the dean? <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> that would be um, great. I, I guess they said that the uh, the plot of the uh, movie may be Abed going to look for Troy because Troy's supposed to be sailing around the world. Oh, oh that's that would be right. a good one. Be like that a would be. And then I guess Donald Glover was like, the best plot twist ever would be I'm dead the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it worked for M Night Shyamalan. Foos. No, it didn't. Wow, that's just a stretch. No, it's not. He was dead the whole time. Yeah, Bruce but Willis? it didn't work for the movie, bro. Okay. What? Let me talk. It did, though. No, it was a good Remember? movie. It was a good movie, but only one person saw him. 
Yeah, the, the kid. Anyway, I don't have to tell you what the plot of this fucking movie is. Um, can we end this now? Are we done? Please. Okay. Please. All right, Josh. <sighs> take oh. the vice grip off my balls, dude. <laughs> Not until he gets the DVDs, foo. <laughs> you have to keep walking funny. <laughs> Good thing I can't go outside. <laughs> Well, thank you all very much for listening to the Move Bar Show. Thanks for hitting subscribe and remember to rate, review, and tell your friends like a fucking champion. You can always reach us at Food Bar Show. That's FWOBarshow.com. And FWOBarshow is our handle on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. Check us out. Drop us a line and we'll fill it up like a couple of foods. I've been Juicy. I've been Jeff. With the food. And Steph. Signing off saying, don't be a